Hello and welcome to the Comedy Recycling Theory of the Entire Known Universe. We're going to do a brief experiment here that you can do in the privacy of your own home. And we're going to take a, uh, just a routine rubber ball and we're going to toss it up in the air. And if you notice that every time you toss it up in the air, that the force of gravity always brings it back closer to the surface of the Earth. Now, we would say that there's lesser gravitational curvature here and greater gravitational curvature down here. So that the conclusion that we would come to is that the ball will always return to the greater gravitational curvature. Now the interesting thing about that is, if you uh, would go below the surface of the Earth, you would notice that the force of gravity keeps increasing with depth, and it increases until you get to the core mantle boundary. That's because the density of matter actually more than quadruples with depth, and it again increases till you get to the core mantle boundary, and even then it increases as you go to the surface or to the center of the Earth, but that it doesn't keep quadrupling, that it so it, it falls off, which means that the maximum strength of gravity on Earth. The maximum gravitational curvature is approximately 2,885 or 86 kilometers straight down, and that's about what the core mantle boundary is. And then from there, the force of gravity decreases until you get to the center of the Earth, and at the center of the Earth, the gravitational curvature is essentially zero. Now, the interesting thing about that is the world's greatest experts would say that if you would take this ball and if we had a hollow shaft all the way between the surface of the Earth and the center of the Earth, and it would drop the ball down and the ball would keep accelerating until it actually got to the center of the Earth. Whereas the comedy recycling theory says that the ball will only fall to the point of maximum curvature. Now it may sail past that a little bit because of its momentum and speed buildup, but once it goes past that point of maximum curvature, it will start to slow down and actually will return back to that point. It will not fall to the center of the Earth. And the way you can tell that is the experiment we've just done here, where we throw the ball up into a lesser curvature, and the ball always returns back to maximum gravitational curvature. It always does that when you do that here at the surface of the Earth. So the intriguing question is, will the ball continue to do that when you go below the core mantle boundary if you would have a, a shaft starting from there going all the way to the center of the Earth. And remember, the curvature at the center of the Earth is zero. It's, it's the minimum on the surface of the Earth, whereas the maximum curvature is at the core mantle boundary, which again is 2,886 kilometers straight down. So the conundrum is, will the ball in that tunnel below the core mantle boundary, when you throw it towards the center of the Earth, will it always return back to the core mantle boundary, which is something that the world's greatest experts in gravity do not agree with. They do not support that scenario. They do not look at gravity as working in that particular way. Whereas the comedy recycling theory says that the ball will always return to that point of maximum gravitational curvature. Now, it does that from above the surface of the Earth, but the question is, will it do it below the core mantle boundary when you throw it down towards the center of the Earth, but still into a lesser gravitational curvature? Will the ball come back into maximum curvature? That's what the comedy recycling theory hypothesis says. And the question is, which of those two scenarios will you, the viewer at home, choose to believe? The way that it did in the experiment you just performed, or you can perform for yourself, or the way the world's greatest experts say where the ball continues to fall all the way to the center of the Earth, in the Newtonian view. That's the difference, that's the conundrum, and uh, it's up to you, the viewer at home, to choose which of those two scenarios you will believe, which will you support. Another bright idea from the comedy recycling theory of the entire new universe, www.cr-theory.org.